This is one of the available climate control panels for your vehicle. If your vehicle is equipped with a different climate control system, please see your owner's manual for additional information. The air conditioning system automatically regulates and maintains fan speed, airflow and temperature in the cabin. To turn the system on, set the mode selector dial to the auto position. The auto function can be turned off by either changing the fan speed or the mode selector dial. To turn the climate control system off, set the fan control dial to position zero. The mode selector dial provides a choice of airflow outlets. Turn the dial to cycle through your choices. Press the AC switch to turn the air conditioning on or off. Intake air control is automatically regulated in auto mode. Press this air intake selector switch to draw outside air into the cabin or to recirculate inside air in the cabin. Air recirculation mode increases air condition efficiency and helps block outside odors from entering the cabin. To defrost or defog the front and side windows, set the mode selector dial to the defrost position. Airflow will be directed to the front and side windows. The AC will activate and the air recirculation mode will turn off. To de-ice the windscreen, your temperature control dial should be turned to maximum heat and the fan control dial set high. To defrost or defog the rear window, push the rear window defroster switch. This action also defrosts the outside mirrors if your vehicle is equipped with heated mirrors. The air conditioning system measures inside and outside temperatures as well as sunlight to set the cabin temperature. There is a sunlight sensor located on top of the dashboard. Keep this area clear of papers and other materials. Also, do not obstruct the interior temperature sensor or the air conditioning system will not operate properly. For more details, please refer to your owner's manual. The Blind Spot Monitoring System provides assistance when changing lanes by monitoring the blind spot areas of adjacent lanes behind the vehicle. If a vehicle enters this detection zone, this indicator illuminates on the corresponding outside mirror. If you signal a lane change in that direction while another vehicle is still in the detection zone, the indicator light flashes and a warning chime will sound. The volume level of the warning chime can be adjusted to your preference using the settings menu on the center display. The system is operational when the vehicle speed is greater than approximately 90 miles per hour and the BSM switch on the lower right instrument panel is activated. The blind spot monitoring system is not a replacement for safe driving. Also, the system may not detect cycles, motorbikes or pedestrians in the detection zone. Please see your owner's manual for more information. Mobile devices connect you to the world. From hands-free phone and text messaging to Bluetooth audio and internet radio via the AHA or Stitcher application, your Mazda is equipped with technology that lets you take that freedom on the road. To get started, you will first need to pair your device. If this is your first device, the center screen prompts you to pair. If you already have a paired device and you are adding additional devices, press the communication icon, select settings, and then select Bluetooth. Now select Add New Device. On your Bluetooth equipment, locate and select the entry for Mazda. Confirm that the code shown on your device matches the one shown on the vehicle screen and then touch Yes to complete the pairing process. Most communication functions can be accessed by pressing this icon on the home screen. From here, you can touch Contacts to make a phone call to a number in your phone's contacts. Touch Favorites to call or manage those contacts that you access most frequently. The Call History option can be used to make a call to a number in your device's call history. You can dial by number using this keypad. After entering the digits, touch this icon to begin the call. Some languages also support voice commands to make a call. Press the talk button and wait for the beep. Say call and then the name of the phone book entry you wish to call. While a call is active, various icons are available on the screen. For example, you can use this icon to transfer the call back and forth between the Bluetooth system and the mobile device. Touch this icon to mute or unmute the vehicle microphone. Touch this icon to end the call. SMS functionality allows you to send and receive messages in your vehicle. If the setting for SMS notifications is activated, you will be notified when a message is received. Touch this icon to display the message. There are a wide variety of settings available for customizing your communication system. 
Simply touch settings and then select an item to adjust. Please be aware that use of these various features is dependent on the compatibility of your device. Also, it is very important to use these features when it is safe to do so. Some options, such as pairing a device, are only available when the vehicle is parked. For additional precautions and information about your vehicle's communication system, please see your owner's manual. With cruise control, you can set and automatically maintain a desired speed. To turn cruise control on, push this switch for vehicles with the speed limiter function, or this switch for vehicles without the speed limiter function. This amber indicator light will illuminate. A long press of the off button, or pressing it two times, will switch it off again. Accelerate until you reach the desired speed. Now, push the set switch and simultaneously release the accelerator. The vehicle will operate at your selected speed and this indicator will turn green. To change your cruising speed, push the plus or minus switch. You can also reset to a higher speed by applying the accelerator pedal until you reach the desired speed and then pressing the set switch. To temporarily cancel cruise control, push cancel, tap your brake pedal or depress the clutch. To resume cruising at your last set speed, push the resume switch. Your vehicle speed may become inappropriate for the current gear. This indicator will then appear, directing you to shift up or down. If your vehicle is equipped with a speed limiter function, it can be used to ensure that the vehicle is not driven above a set speed. To switch between cruise control and the speed limiter, push this switch. This indicator will illuminate in the instrument cluster. Use the set switch to set the desired speed. The indicator light will turn green. In the case of an emergency, you may override the speed limiter by pressing the accelerator firmly. In these cases, the display will flash and a warning sounds. Please see your owner's manual for more information. The performance and longevity of your highly efficient Skyactiv engine, as well as preserving your warranty, is dependent on using the correct fluids. Mazda has designed specially formulated oil to improve performance, increase fuel economy and reduce emissions. The engine oil level should be checked regularly. To do this, park the vehicle on a safe level surface, run the engine until it reaches operating temperature and then turn it off. After waiting 5 minutes, remove the engine oil dipstick, wipe it clean, reinsert it and then pull it out again. The engine oil level should fall within this range. If the level is too low, top up the engine oil to the correct level. If it is too high, we recommend you visit your Mazda authorized repairer. It is strongly recommended to avoid mixing different brands of oil. This is the engine oil warning light. When it illuminates, stop immediately. Continuing to drive can cause severe damage to the engine. As soon as possible, drive the vehicle to a safe location and turn the engine off. Wait five minutes and then check the engine oil level. Top up to the correct level if necessary. It is recommended that you keep a bottle of engine oil on hand for such an occasion. If upon restarting the engine the warning light stays illuminated, we recommend you call roadside assistance or your Mazda authorized repairer immediately. We recommend Mazda Original Oil, specially designed for Skyactive technology. For more details, please refer to your owner's manual. Mazda offers several different audio entertainment systems for your vehicle. If your vehicle is equipped with a different audio entertainment system than the one shown in this video, please see your owner's manual for additional information. If equipped, your new Mazda features a unique Bose speaker system, specially designed to deliver wide, all-encompassing sound in convertible vehicles. With Bose speakers in the doors and A-pillars, optional woofer and four Bose Ultra Near Fields in the head restraints, you can experience uncompromised sound quality even when you throw the roof back. And True Space Signal Processing adjusts the EQ when you raise or lower the top for the best possible sound in any driving situation. You can control your audio system by using the commander knob, the touchscreen, or the steering wheel audio switches. Some languages also support voice commands. 
to operate the audio entertainment system, tilt or turn the commander knob and move the cursor to this icon. Now press it to display the audio screen. Turn this dial to adjust the volume or press to mute the sound. Press the favorites button to access one of the possible 50 stations stored or use a long press to store a new favorite. The favorites list applies to AM, FM and DAB radio if equipped. DAB is the acronym for Digital Audio Broadcasting. Availability depends on local signal reception. The DAB system enables you to receive digital audio broadcasts through your Mazda's audio system. It gives you more choices, better radio reception and is easy to use. To make sound adjustments, select the icon on the home screen and display the settings screen. Now, select this tab to choose the item you would like to change, such as bass, treble, fade, balance, etc. While using the touchscreen, you can touch, tap, slide or swipe, but you cannot pinch. Also, note that when you use the touchscreen, your vehicle must be stopped or traveling less than 5 miles per hour because the touchscreen is disabled at higher speeds. You can tune the AM or FM radio using the touchscreen by touching Tune and then selecting the station frequency. Another convenient way to control the audio entertainment system in your vehicle is to use the steering wheel audio control switches. Press the seek switch to reach the next or previous station stored. If you press and hold the seek switch, you will reach all usable stations, whether programmed or not. The seek switch also seeks or skips when using other media, such as USB audio or CDs. If available, you can also activate audio operation with your voice by pressing the talk button on the steering wheel and speaking a command after hearing a beep. It's important to speak in a clear, natural voice. Don't speak too fast or too slow. Say play and then the media you wish to play. For example, say play AM to switch to the AM band or say play CD to switch to the disc loaded into your CD player. You may also say aha or stitcher to switch to those applications, etc. Refer to the owner's manual for a complete list of commands. Please be aware that in order to use AHA and Stitcher as audio sources, the app must be installed on your phone. If you use these applications, there may be data costs, depending on your phone usage data contract, especially when going abroad. Your vehicle is equipped with a USB port and auxiliary aux jack that allows you to play your iPod, USB device or portable audio player through the vehicle's audio system. Just connect your device, then turn the vehicle's audio system on and select aux or USB from the sources menu. When using the USB port, you can use the vehicle's audio system or steering wheel switches to operate the connected USB device. However, when using the aux jack, the portable audio player controls the music. If you'd rather play music without a physical connection, you can select Bluetooth audio from the main audio screen. You can then use these controls to play or move through songs. If your Bluetooth device is already connected as a phone, it is ready to use as an audio player. To connect a device not connected as a phone, press the communication icon, select settings, and then select Bluetooth. Now, select add new device. On your Bluetooth equipment, locate and select the entry for Mazda. Confirm that the code shown on your device matches the one shown on the vehicle screen, and then touch yes to complete the pairing process. If you need electrical power for an accessory, you'll find the accessory socket deep in the back of the passenger side footwell, close to the center console. The socket provides up to 120 watts of power, 12 volts DC, 10 amp. Please see your owner's manual for additional operating information. The Hill Hole Assist System reduces the possibility of unintentionally rolling backward while pulling away on a hill. The system automatically keeps the brakes applied during the time it takes to release the brake pedal and apply the accelerator when the vehicle is stopped on a hill. The system operates automatically when the vehicle is in a forward or reverse gear and when it is stopped completely on a hill with the brakes applied. The maximum holding time is about two seconds. After two seconds, the vehicle will begin to roll as the system disengages. Also, if the parking brake is applied, the system does not operate. Please see your owner's manual for more information. This is your instrument panel. To adjust the instrument panel brightness, 
turn this knob until the desired setting is reached. When the headlight control is in either of these positions, the instrument panel dims automatically. To turn the brightness up, rotate the knob fully clockwise until a beep is heard. To reactivate the automatic dimming feature, turn the knob fully anti-clockwise. The instrument panel also features an information display. Use this switch on the steering wheel to navigate through the following settings. Average vehicle speed. Current fuel economy. Average fuel economy. Approximate distance to empty. And vehicle speed alarm. After pushing the info button, you can customize several vehicle functions, such as speed alarm. Please see your owner's manual for more information for possible warning messages. The purpose of the Lane Departure Warning System is to notify you that your vehicle may be deviating from your lane. The system uses the forward sensing camera mounted near your inside rear view mirror to detect the white or yellow traffic lane lines. Press this switch to turn the system on or off. When the system is turned off, the amber warning light illuminates and this indicator is shown in the instrument cluster. Drive the vehicle near the center of a lane with lines on both sides at 44 miles per hour and the indicator light illuminates in the instrument cluster. If the system determines that your vehicle might be deviating from your lane, the indicator light flashes and a warning chime will sound. Steer the vehicle back into the center of your travel lane. The system automatically cancels and goes to standby mode under any of the following conditions. If your speed is less than 40 miles per hour, the direction indicator lever is operated for a lane change. The system does not detect lines on the road. You abruptly operate the steering wheel, accelerator pedal or brake pedal. You may wish to personalize the system by increasing the warning volume or changing the warning sound. To make these changes, select the settings icon on the home screen and then select the safety tab. For more details, please refer to your owner's manual. MZD Connect keeps you in tune with the demands of the modern world of information, entertainment, communication and navigation. You can control the system by using the commander knob, the touchscreen or the steering wheel audio switches. Some languages also support voice commands. The commander knob helps you navigate to the following. Home, entertainment, navigation, favorites. Also, next to the commander knob is a back button. To operate the system, tilt or turn the commander knob and move the cursor to the icon you wish to display. Then, press it to display the selected screen. You can also turn this dial to adjust the volume or press to mute the sound. If you prefer, you can use the touch screen if your vehicle is stationary or traveling less than five miles per hour. While using the touch screen, you can touch, tap, slide or swipe, but you cannot pinch. Touch one of the five icons and the display will go to that item. The first icon is for applications, such as fuel economy monitor, maintenance and warning guidance. The second icon takes you to the entertainment options and the third icon sends you to the communication menu. The fourth icon starts the navigation system menu, if fitted, and the fifth icon takes you to the settings menu. From the settings menu, you may select languages supported by the system, in addition to many other options. If you wish to turn the center display off, touch the settings icon and then select the display tab. Next, select Turn Display Off or Turn Display Off and Show Clock. To turn the display back on, touch the center display or operate the commander knob. Another way to use the MZD Connect is to activate the voice control if supported in your language. Do this by pressing the talk button on the steering wheel. Listen for the beep and then speak a command. It's important to speak in a clear, natural voice. Don't speak too fast or too slow. For more details, please refer to your owner's manual. Your vehicle's navigation system uses GPS, up-to-date maps and traffic information to help you find your way to your destination. From the convenience of the center screen, you can plan a route, find a restaurant and much more. The main navigation menu is shown as a bar across the bottom of the screen. Touch this icon to hide the menu bar. 
The other icons can be selected too. View items such as traffic information, if activated, GPS reception and vehicle position. Cancel the current route, set a new destination by entering a street address, selecting a place of interest or choosing a location on the map. Display points of interest along the route. Switch the orientation of the map between 2D oriented north, 2D oriented up and 3D. Or adjust the settings used by the navigation system. Here's an example of how to set a destination using a street address. Touch this icon on the navigation menu and then touch find address. If necessary, you can change the default country by touching country, entering the first few letters on the keyboard and then selecting the appropriate country from the displayed list. Next, touch town or postcode and enter the city name or postcode. Repeat the process for street name and number or just the number if the postcode is entered. The system will show the destination entered on the screen. Touch this to confirm the location and begin route guidance by pressing navigate to and then go or touch this icon to return to previous screens and update the search criteria. Frequently used destinations such as your home address can be saved, edited or deleted from favorites. We'll walk you through adding your home address. To do this, first, press the navigation key. Next, press the key that is a flag with a plus sign. Select the favorites key. Highlight the home key. Now, press and hold the commander switch down for three seconds. You'll hear a beep. After the beep, you'll see a key to edit home and a key to delete home. Press the edit home key. Next, you're ready to enter your street name. So press the street name key and then enter it. Enter your house number and press this key that looks like a list. That takes you to this screen. Press the set as home key. A message informing you that your home address is saved to your favorite stays on the screen until you press the OK key. After pressing the key, your screen goes back to the edit home and delete home page. That's how to save your address as home. There are numerous settings that allow you to customize your navigation system to suit your needs. This is your vehicle's SD card slot, only used by your navigation system. You may update the map's data twice per year for the first three years at no charge. Additionally, you get complimentary connected services such as real-time traffic information for 60 days via your mobile phone's Wi-Fi hotspot. To update maps or to extend connected services, you need to remove your vehicle's SD card and insert it into the SD card reader of your computer. Please refer to your local Mazda website or your Mazda authorized repairer for details of the update process. After the update process, reinsert your SD card into your vehicle. You can use your transmitter to lock and unlock your vehicle. Press this button to lock all doors and the boot lid. The hazard lights will flash once for confirmation. Pressing this button will unlock all doors and the boot lid. The hazard lights will flash twice. Some vehicles are equipped with the advanced keyless entry system. This means that you can lock or unlock doors without removing the transmitter from your pocket or purse. As long as the transmitter is within approximately 30 inches of either the door handle or the lift gate, you can press these request switches to lock or unlock the vehicle. For the safety of your person and belongings, you will not be able to use the switches on the doors when the car is locked while the key is located near the boot lid. You must have the transmitter near the doors in order to unlock them. To open the fuel filler flap, simply push it in and release after unlocking the doors. The flap will pop open. After refueling, close it and push. The flap will snap shut and lock when the doors are locked. In case the car door locks while a passenger is still in the car, the passenger has to pull this button to unlock the car. To open the boot lid, push the electronic boot lid opener switch just above the upper right corner of the registration plate. After the vehicle is unlocked, push the switch and the boot lid will open. You can also use the remote release button on the key fob. Keep in mind that the power windows will automatically open about one centimeter anytime you open the doors. The windows will close automatically when you close the doors. This is to prevent glass and roof damage and is an everyday part of normal operation. There is a manual key that can be pulled out of the back of your transmitter. It can be used to manually lock or unlock all doors using the lock cylinder on the driver's door. Turn it toward the front of the vehicle to lock all doors and the boot lid, or toward the rear of the vehicle to unlock them. Many features can be personalized from the dashboard screen. For example, you can change the time required for the doors to relock automatically 
after being unlocked with the transmitter or request switches on the door. Your vehicle has an auto lock function that automatically locks your vehicle when you walk away from it. All doors, the fuel filler flap and the boot lid are locked automatically after about three seconds when the advanced key is out of the operational range. Also, the hazard warning lights flash once. If the driver is in the operational range, all doors, the fuel filler flap and boot lid are locked automatically after about 30 seconds. If you are out of the operational range before the doors, fuel filler flap and boot lid are completely closed or another key is left in the vehicle, the auto lock function will not work. You hear one beep when all doors and the boot lid are closed. The auto lock function of your keyless entry can be turned on or off in the personalization settings. To open the bonnet, pull this release handle with the vehicle parked. The bonnet will pop up slightly. Insert your hand into the bonnet opening, slide the latch lever over and lift up on the bonnet. Insert the support rod. Please see your owner's manual for more information. If your vehicle is equipped with the rear cross traffic alert system, it will notify you of vehicles approaching from the side when you are backing out of a parking space or garage. Be aware that if the BSM switch is turned off, the rear cross traffic alert system is also disabled and will not operate. The system operates when you put your vehicle into reverse. If a vehicle approaches from the left or right side, the BSM warning light flashes and the beep sounds. Be aware that the volume of the warning beep cannot be changed. Always check the surrounding area before reversing the vehicle because the rear sensors may not detect an approaching vehicle in time to avoid an accident when the radar sensor detection area is obstructed by a wall or other object, a vehicle approaches from straight behind, the vehicle is parked on a slant or when reversing at 6 miles per hour or faster. For more details, please refer to your owner's manual. You can adjust seat position using the following controls. To change the seat back angle, pull this lever upward and lean forward slightly. Then lean back to the desired position and release the lever. Turn this dial to adjust the height of the front edge of the seat bottom. When you pull up on this lever, you can slide the seat forward or backward. Release the lever before driving to lock the seat into place. Once your seat is adjusted to the desired position, you can adjust the position of the steering wheel. Pull this lever down, then adjust the steering wheel up or down according to your preferred driving position. Then push this lever up to lock the steering wheel in place. Your vehicle features one or two convenient movable cup holders, depending on the model. They can be pulled out and reinstalled on the front or rear console, according to your preference. Just be sure to park the vehicle before you move them. If your vehicle has heated seats, you can adjust the heat setting using these switches. Push repeatedly to change from high to mid, low or off. This vehicle uses a passenger seat sensor to determine if the person on the seat is an adult or a child seated in a child restraint system. If it's a child, the front and side passenger airbags will deactivate and you'll see the amber airbag deactivation light. When the passenger seat is occupied by an adult, this deactivation light should not illuminate. If it does, contact the nearest authorized dealer. Please see your owner's manual for more information. The headlight switch is located on the multifunction lever. Turn the headlight switch to this position to turn the headlights, other exterior lights and instrument panel illumination on or off. When the lights are turned on, this indicator light illuminates. If your vehicle has auto light control, it has the added position of auto. When the switch is in the auto position, the exterior lights and the instrument panel lights turn on or off automatically based on the determination of the light sensor. The auto headlight illumination on off timing sensitivity can be changed in the personalization setting screen. To turn on the high beam headlights, push this lever forward. You'll see a blue indicator light illuminate. To return to low beam, pull the lever back towards you. The blue light will turn off. 
To make your high beam headlights flash on and off, pull the lever toward you and release it. Your vehicle is equipped with daytime running lights, which are always on when the ignition is on and the lights are off, unless stationary and the parking brake is applied. Your vehicle is equipped with the automatic headlight leveling, so they automatically adjust while driving. If your vehicle is equipped with a three flash turn signal function, push this lever up or down slightly and release. After releasing the lever, the direction indicator flashes three times. This can be turned off using the personalization function. To turn on the rear fog light, rotate the collar to this position and release. This indicator light in the instrument cluster illuminates. To turn the rear fog light off, turn off the headlights or turn the rear fog light switch to this position. Your vehicle may be equipped with a coming home light function. It will keep your low beam headlights on for a period of time after you exit your vehicle and close your doors. To do this, pull the headlight lever after the ignition is switched to ACC or off. If you pull the lever again, headlights will go off. After approximately three minutes of no operations, the headlights will switch off automatically. You can personalize this function in the settings menu. Another system your Mazda has is the leaving home light system. This turns your headlights on for a period of time as you approach your vehicle. As a prerequisite, the headlight switch needs to be positioned in the headlight position when you leave the car. Then, the next time you're leaving home, press the unlock button on your transmitter as you walk to the vehicle and the low beam headlights will turn on for a period of time. Your vehicle is equipped with LED headlights. LED headlights last longer than traditional headlights. LED headlights are brighter and emit a whiter light, giving them an important advantage while using less power than other types of headlight bulbs. Your vehicle may also have the Adaptive Front Lighting System, AFS, which adjusts the headlight beams when you turn the steering wheel while driving. For more details, please refer to your owner's manual. Your convertible system creates a new level of driving enjoyment. To raise or lower the top, first park on level ground. Set the parking brake and remove any items you have in the convertible top storage area. Now, to lower a soft top, first locate the latch above your rear view mirror. Then push the release button and simultaneously pull the latch forward. Your windows will automatically lower about halfway down. Pull the front of the top toward the rear of the vehicle to release it from the windshield header. Use the interior handles if you're in the vehicle. If you're opening from the exterior, grasp the side near the windshield header. Fold the top back and push on the front until it locks into the open position. If there's resistance, lower the top slowly while pushing down on the upper part of the rear glass. Now, to raise the soft top, pull the unlock lever to release the soft top. Pull the top forward using the interior handles or by the side near the windshield header. Push the latch lever forward until the lock button clicks. Check for the red indicator on the release button. If the red indicator is visible, the top is not securely latched. To preserve your vehicle's condition, frequently check the area where the top meets the body. Keep this area free of leaves and other debris and make sure the water drainage outlets are kept clear. Otherwise, water may enter the passenger compartment. For more details, please refer to your owner's manual.